Hello, hello, good morning. It is almost 5.30. Um, I got some breakfast to kind of make. Uh, the cats are eating. But um, my mother-in-law got Nico Nico Shokuban. I love Nico Nico Shokuban. It's um, bread in the shape of a cat. But you do have to cut it yourself, which is not horrible. But I'm going to cut a couple of slices and make some toast. Some Nico Nico toast. Yay! Oh, wonderful. And I cut two big, well, not that big, but hmm. okay. I successfully got two sizes. This is the cutter that I'm on. Hmm. I'm gonna eat, finish watching the video I'm watching, and I'll debate whether I go for a very early walk or get some work done first on writing. We'll see. Mew. Tadakimas. Okay, it is uh, 6.32. I am upstairs. Vanilla is with me, <laughs> and I'm starting the day. It actually looks kind of cloudy, so I don't know about the walk. I'm making excuses now, but, um, my thought of, like, not going before, um, was, say, I went after 9 or 10 o'clock, so, in, in, like, a few hours, um, my goal could be a recycle shop and just kind of go around the recycle shop for a bit and then come back. If I go early, the recycle shop won't be open, so I I kind of had that thought, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I don't want to spend money, <laughs> money, um, but you know, it's a goal. I could walk around, see um, if they have like Pokemon cards there or not, something like that, you know? <sighs> but for now, I've booted up my computer. Talking to my Igiritsu British bestie about Pokemon Cafe. Um, so, like, her trip planning and <laughs> writing. Ah. Well, the eye is I'm excited. And, um, let me check out the window. I'm excited. The sad thing is this window had some sort of bubble wrap or something on it. As you can see, it's, like, all frosty. Um, probably to keep the heat or keep the heat in or out I don't know but um did not come off the vi the window which isn't bad because the neighbor's house is like right there so don't want them looking in I guess but vanilla would like to look out so I heard the news that the creator of Catan and quite a few other games um board games passed away on April 1st and it's not an April Fool's joke it's it's it just got me thinking. It made me sad because that means there's no more games from that game designer. But also, thinking about it, like, it, Catan is very much a gateway board game for many people. And I feel not only did it get people enjoying board games and made um, board games accessible to so many people it wasn't you're playing Candyland or something as a kid and then 
maybe if you're in the niche group doing Dungeons and Dragons. It like created this, hey, board games are for everyone. They don't have to be on one end or the other. They could be all throughout that spectrum. And so I think a lot of game designers today too played Catan, fell in love with board games and became designers. And that influence is just, it's amazing. Like that is what you leave behind. Like, yes, he created games and he's leaving behind those games for future generations. Not only that, he's leaving that inspiration as well. And that's what I mean, like, authors do that as well, that they're like, I've read your book, I, I love reading. How many people, you know, read like Harry Potter and like this and that? I was like, oh. to leave a legacy like that, I guess that's the real dream, you know, with humanity, not the... In this lifetime right now, I want to have money. <laughs> and then, you know, what are you going to do with it? You're going to leave it to some somebody, <laughs> you know? But leaving that legacy, I think, is more important. <sighs> Rip. Hold on, rest in peace, really. All right, I need to get to work. Oh, that's my baby. That's my babies. Hi. These flowers are so beautiful. Does anyone know what this tree is? Um, hubby's on his way home. I've decided maybe I'll make it normal that when he's like, I'm coming home, I kind of finish up my thought in writing and then go out for a walk and then should be done by my walk by the time he gets home. So I'm outside <laughs> and I'm checking on that tree that has some flowers. All right, keep keep the walk going um i have over 2000 words like 2200 and something written today so i'm very happy and hubby is going to bed early tonight so that means i will have a lot more writing to do all right concentrate on the road ahead ah. It's that time. We're gonna go to bed soon, right, baby? <laughs> um, it's about seven thirty. I stayed in the office and finished chapter thirteen, where I wanted to go, and um. <laughs> I ended up writing 3,700 and something words today, <sighs> but you know, it flowed, so I'm really happy. Um, chapter 14 should flow as well tomorrow, but um, I really wanted to read and um, read it over and like a couple times and then do the grammar edit th trick I've been doing <laughs> and um get it uploaded but I'm like no I'm tired I'm gonna relax I can do it in the morning after I sleep so that's what I'm going to do I can't believe it like out of I'm over 50 13,000 words for the contest now. It's exciting. But anyways, I also um, got an email from the Pokemon Center that I did hit for the next Poke Pokemon card trading game um, set that comes out next Friday. It's um, the gym set. It has the um, sleeves, the the deck case and um both versions of the packs 
So that's really cool. That's exciting that um, I hit that. I uh, did not hit for anything else, it looks like. And Hubby's asleep, so I won't know until I wake up if he hit anything. But yay! Because that um, gym set is going to be really popular. And we also want to use it to hold our cards as well. So, all right. I'm going to bed because I got to get this video up. And then I want to relax. So, till tomorrow. Ciao.